Hey guys, how are you? This is the Impact Systems Training video series, and in this video we're going to focus on the projectors in the worship space and how to use them. So, to get started as you're coming in to run an event or to set up for the weekend, we want to open up the Chrome browser, which is located down here in the taskbar on any tech booth computer near the start button. So we click on the Chrome browser and it will open up. And we have bookmark buttons set up on any browser uh, in Chrome to show left, center, and right projectors, as well as the reverse projector. There are kind of some random icons set up for these buttons. You can ignore these little logos. They kind of automatically assign there and they, they don't match. But uh, we're primarily concerned with what these buttons say. And if you look up front in the worship space, you're going to see three projector screens uh, most of the time that are pulled down. There is a left, a center, and a right. And then there is also a reverse projector screen, which is immediately above the back of the tech booth. And there's a small white projector uh, pointed at that screen. And this back screen is used for the, the band on Saturday and Sundays to see the words that are on the center screen of the songs. And it's also handy too for presenters. If you would like to use the reverse projector screen, you absolutely can. Just know that when you use that screen, it's going to show exactly what is on the center screen at the same time. So it's a cool uh, kind of confidence monitor for presenters or someone that would like to know what is on the screen behind them as they present to an audience. Getting back to the control of the projectors, if you're coming in and uh, would like to turn on uh, the projectors, we're, it's as simple as choosing which projector you would like to have turned on. In this case, we're going to fire up the center projector. So we'll click on this button here, and the uh, interface will load. Sometimes it's going to hang on this connecting message, or this loading prompt will sort of not go anywhere for a few seconds. And if you see that happen, just click the button one more time, and everything should refresh, and it should go through a little bit faster. The power button's right here. We'll click that, and you'll hear an audible chime from the projector up front telling you that it's warming up, and this will also tell you too. After it's done warming up, it takes about, I'd say, 60 seconds, you should see what you are sending to the projector uh, begin to be displayed on the screen. While we're in this uh, little interface here, let me just show you some basic features that you can use uh, to run the projector when you would like. First of all, we want to make sure on this sources list at all times we have the HDMI 1 input selected for the uh, for every projector. So uh, no matter if it's the left, center, or right, HDMI 1 needs to be the input. So if you see this green highlight on any other category here, any other input, make sure you click on HDMI 1 to ensure that the signal is going to be received from that port. A couple other basic functions, uh, this AV mute button here. If you click that and it stays green, the projector up front will display a black image no matter what you're sending to it. So this is handy if you screw up and have the wrong slide up front or there's a glitch happening in the tech booth and you don't want the entire audience to see you working on the computer. Uh, you can hit this AV mute and it will blank out the projector. Lastly, uh, feel free to use this freeze button here. And this will freeze whatever image is up on the screen, uh, sort of like a pause button. And that's kind of handy too if you ever want to use that for uh, any number of things that might come in handy for it. I would ask that you do not adjust the contrast, brightness, or sharpness settings. I have carefully tuned those in uh, for weekend service use, and uh, if we adjust that stuff, it might throw off the consistency of our images across the three screens. When you are ready to close up shop and you're packing down for the night, hit the power button again, and then it will ask you if you are sure, and you hit yes, the projector will make an audible chime again, and it will say cooling down, and you can then close out the browser. One quick note, uh, when you're booting up the projectors or turning them off, you don't need to leave the uh, browser window open. You can go ahead and if you have the projector warming up and you've made sure it's on HDMI 1 input, you can go ahead and just close out the browser right away after you've hit the power button and the projector will still stay on. Uh, the projector does not need uh, the browser window to be open the whole time. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to browse the Impact uh, uh, Video Systems Training page on YouTube for more answers and as a last resort, feel free to call me or send me an email. Thanks guys.